This is the Y chromosome. This is magnified uh, 10,000 times, the X chromosome and the Y chromosome. So this little glob of DNA, as I mentioned earlier, is the Y chromosome. And there's some, as I mentioned, important genes. But we also know that since it's clonally inherited from father to son, father to son, it doesn't change. And so we can use that to trace the history of male lineages. And so this is just a, a, a tree showing the different lineages throughout the world. And um, uh, real quickly, this is just my match of the mitochondrial DNA, my maternal line, in uh, uh, matching in Nigeria, northern Nigeria. Uh, this, was, this is from the, um, uh, the PBS special, African American Lives. We actually tested Mae Jameson, who was the first black woman astronaut. And uh, she had a very, very common lineage. It was very old, very, very old mitochondrial DNA lineage L1A, which is common throughout all of West Africa. So we weren't able to localize to a particular region. And that happens sometimes. It's like having a last name like Smith. Any Smiths in the room? All right, so I'm sure you two Smiths aren't related, right? <laughs> that, it happens. I mean, you just have a common name. You, I go somewhere, a new city, and I open a phone book, and I find a Kittles. If I do, more than likely I'm probably related to it because it's not a common name. Some of these lineages are quite common, so it doesn't mean that, um, uh, that they're all related. It just means that they're very old and very distant uh, and geographically widespread. However, Oprah Winfrey had a very unique lineage. It was, it, was, it was more recent, and it was localized to, in particular, the Capelli people in Liberia. And so she was, she was a bit star startled because she thought she was, what, Zulu, right? <laughs> Interesting story. Maybe if you ask me a question later, I can tell you about that story. But it, she's not Zulu. Quincy Jones had interesting matches among the um, uh, Cameroon uh, uh, Bamiliki people. And he got excited. He went online and searched about the Bamiliki. He said, wow, they're musicians. You know, I inherited my a musical. I was like, yeah, OK, all right. Mm -hmm. Chris Tucker, high levels of African ancestry. I mean, he, uh, he, he on both sides, his maternal and his paternal side, we were able to show um, was common in, in uh, Cameroon and also Angola. And then. T.D. Jakes, which I don't even have to tell you, he looks like he's some Nigerian, right? <laughs> he had a match in Nigeria. Uh, all of his matches were in Nigeria, as a matter of fact, and um, uh, Western Cameroon. So why study these maternal and paternal lineages? Because they are very informative. They allow us to say something about um, uh, distant uh, relatives. So when you look at this, uh, if you go back one generation, you have two ancestors, your mother and your father. If you go back two generations, you have four ancestors, your grandparents. If you go back uh, nine generations, there were 912 people that contributed to your DNA. That's a lot of people, right? And however, we can say something about your um, Y chromosome and your mitochondrial DNA because those came down uh, uh, identically um, through your, uh, your mother or through your father if you're a male. If we go back during the period of slavery, 350 years ago, that's 14 generations, there's over 16,000 ancestors. Now we can't say any, anything with good confidence about all of them, but we can, as I said, say something about this lineage, which is good, and this lineage. And if you know other people in this family tree, like you'll hear from uh, Brother Chris Rabb, you'll, you can find other people to test in your family to get multiple lineages. So it is quite useful, and uh, many folks are, are utilizing this this uh, service. So I'm going to end with this. This is my family tree. This is me, my brother, my sister. We actually were able to look at my mother's mitochondrial DNA lineage. Uh, she gave that to all of us. And that went back to Hausa, as I mentioned. And uh, my mother's father's side, we had to test my uncle Gerald uh, for his Y chromosome. My mother didn't give me that Y chromosome. Uh, and that was Igbo in Nigeria. And on my father's side, his maternal line, Mandinka, so I was happy because I, you know, I saw a Mandingo when I was young, and I was telling folks, you know, <laughs> I was like, you know, I went to school the next day. I mean, we do that, you know, we romanticize, we make up these stories, and we don't have any information. And so that's why this was so near and dear to me because I was like, I'm going to set this up so that I can trace with some level of confidence, some level of uh, inference in terms of where in Africa. So I wasn't lying when I said I was Mandinka when I went to school. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> He's not my daddy. Don't <laughs> but I put him up here because, in fact, 
30% of black men, when we test their Y chromosomes, they don't go back to Africa, but to Europe. And so mine is one of them. I, mine goes back, my great, great, great grandfather was white. He was a planter in, in, in Sylvania, Georgia, okay? And you see in, in, in the South, you have black cemeteries, white cemeteries. You go to the white cemetery, you see all these kittles, and it's nicely um, <coughs> mowed, the grasses, and there's flowers, it's real pretty. You go to the black cemetery, you gotta be careful because you will fall into one of those graves. <laughs> you know, it's overgrown. But I was able to find this, 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 this grave where this planter who was white was buried in the black cemetery because he was messing with a black woman. Okay, he wasn't allowed to be buried with the family. So, so that's interesting. So this, this is not uncommon, 30%. In fact, I'm sure Chris can tell you something about that too. So when we look at these non-African lineages, as I mentioned, for Europeans, 30% paternal, about 5% of maternal lines of African Americans are European, but 30% of paternal lines. Native American, everybody says they have Native American. We can't find it. We can't find it. We can't find it. And so, Maybe we could talk about that further also, but this is, this is quite interesting, and I, I get really um, excited about it. I think that, um, but I think we all don't need to be involved in this discussion because the science is evolving, and we really need to ask serious questions in terms of its utility, its usefulness, and its limitations. So thank you. Thank you.